CAN bus is a message-based protocol allowing individual systems, devices, and controllers within a network to communicate. A bus is often a multi-node communication system that moves data among components. The protocol is intended to enable reliable, priority-driven communication between the electronic control units found in modern automobiles and other equipment. CAN bus is robust, flexible, efficient, and low-cost. CAN bus converters and gateways convert the control area network into RS-232, RS-422, RS-485, Modbus RTU, and Modbus TCP interfaces. CAN protocol supports distributed real-time control and multi-master capabilities. You can use it for networking intelligent devices, data acquisition, controllers, sensors, and agitators within a system or subsystem. ICP DAS USA provides a wide selection of CAN communication converters and gateways. The ECAN 240 is a Modbus TCP two port CAN bus gateway module. The module communicates via Ethernet based on Modbus TCP industrial protocol, allowing easy integration within an industrial network. It includes a two port CAN bus Modbus interface, allowing multiple CAN applications to be supported, such as CAN bridge or a CAN message router. The I-2533 is a local CAN bridge used to establish a connection between two CAN bus systems via a fiber optic transmission medium. In order to solve the problem between a CAN and fiber transmission medium, it is specifically designed for converting the electrical CAN bus signal to fiber optic cables. The I-2533CS is a CAN to single mode fiber bridge. The transmission distance limitation of the CAN bus system will not be affected due to different CAN baud rates. The total CAN bus communication distance can be extended over fiber optic cables. The main difference between I-2533 and I-2533SC are fiber connectors and transmission distance. This is an application using I-2533CSA and B. The I-2534 is a one-of-a-kind CAN bus switch. There are four independent CAN channels which offer a flexible design of the start or tree network topology. This new topology could resolve the complex CAN bus application, like industrial machinery, building automation, vehicle automation, and more. The I-7530A is designed to unleash the power of CAN bus via RS-232, 485, 422 communication method. It accurately converts messages between these networks. This module will let you communicate with CAN devices easily from any PC or devices with RS-232, 485, 422 interface. The I-7531FD is a CAN FD signal repeater which can connect two or more CAN networks with the same baud rate. Based on the signal repeat function of the module, Users can use different numbers of the module to combine tree-shaped or star-shaped CAN network topology. And when there are too many devices on the CAN network, using I-7531FD can increase the driving force of the CAN signal to drive more CAN devices. The I-7540D MTCP is a CAN to Ethernet Modbus TCP Modbus RTU converter. It is helpful for exchanging data between Modbus devices and CAN devices. The device supports a transparent protocol-independent transfer of the CAN messages, allowing its implementation into a wide range of possible applications. The I-7565 is a cost-efficient device for coupling the CAN bus to PC using standard USB interface by the Windows operating system. If you establish the connection between the I-7565 and the PC during the runtime of the computer, the PC automatically loads the relevant device driver. ICP-USA has many UART CAN product solutions that are widely recommended on the market. These converters can help users to implement the communication between UART and CAN network. The TM7530A is a tiny UART CAN converter to fit narrow environments as a result of its small size. It has isolation on power side and on CAN bus side, and its performance is faster than other UART CAN models. The I-7540D WF 
supports the wireless transmission of CAN data between various CAN networks or a CAN network with a WLAN network. It is highly suitable for connecting mobile or stationary CAN networks and is often used for short ranges up to 100 meters. There are two operating modes in the I-7540DWF, the access point mode and the ADHOC mode. In the access point mode, the data connection takes place over one or several WLAN access points that are often part of the company's internal IT infrastructure. In the ADHOC mode, a direct connection is established between a single I-7540DWF device and a PC or laptop. To learn more about our CAN bus modules, visit our website or contact the member of the ICP-USA team.